does it mean a thing to say to the two of you? I mean, we don't have you here because you're considered opposites or anything, but can, <laughs> can, can you talk about his films and can he talk about oh, yours? And, uh, oh, can we ever? Really? Oh, God. Yes, Brian, because what, we know each other so each well other. and we tend to be each other's toughest critics, probably. Sir, you seriously do. And you oh, can say, absolutely. boy, did you cruel. blow it on that last cruel. one. Very cruel. cruel, very cruel, very cruel. Well, w did you invite uh, Martin to look at the Fury before? No, he didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's all right. My next film, so. I invite him to see The Last Waltz. He saw it. I invite I him to see uh, New York. Did he finally York. see it? Yes. No, he, no, he saw the rough cut. He saw the rough cut. He see, Marty and I have been on each, uh, opposite coasts for so he, I was in a in lot New of York. editing stages. I edit in New York and he edits in California. So He's out there I happen area. to be out there a lot. But Marty hasn't been in New York a lot in the last couple of years. Would you say that? A year and a half, two yes. years. Yeah, so whole. I've missed, uh, he's missed some of my cuts. He saw Obsession. So Obsession was the last rough cut yeah, I saw. The, last the way you can session. then, if you see a rough cut, then you can talk and you can discuss things and you can suggest uh, changes and, and you can be as rough as possible with some sort of result, yes, you know? Yes. So if you see a final film, what good is it? You know, it's He's nice to see. He's very good about that, because you know, he lets you do? a lot of people see his rough Not cuts. Anymore. And, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, it's hey, true, though. Can, can you think of examples of things you have changed because one of the other, the other of you said the, sure, I the last waltz. that? Sure. The last waltz, I, uh, Brian saw it. I only screened the film three times, because mm -hmm. I really liked it. I didn't, want, I didn't want many people to take a look at it. And, and uh, uh, I had some interviews in it. And he said, listen, he said, either you're going to put more interviews in, because the guys are interesting, uh, or drop them all. Take them out. So I went out and I had shot another two, another two days of interviews. R rather than drop them all? Yeah. No, because I know they were working. Yeah. You know, but uh, do you and, and uh, Spielberg and Lucas and yes. all of these, yeah. the George, young mafia George of definitely. films uh, George definitely. have a kind of cross-fertilization? Yeah, or whatever. Uh, George's wife, uh, Marsha Lucas, edited uh, uh, Alice's Liver Anymore, Taxi Driver in New York, New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just... It's, it's, it's murderous. I mean, you know, you've got to be tough because... You know, we know each other so well, so we say so we say exactly what we think. And can you honestly say you don't want a friend to fail, even though supposedly we all do? Don't want a friend to fail. God, <laughs> no. I, I would say I would not like that group of directors to fail because I think yeah. they're so good. It, it's it's also I mean, there are a lot of other people who can fail, but not that. Now that group is they're really good directors, and they should yeah. hopefully. Yeah be successful. You do know that phenomenon. I mean, there's some yes. French wit who said, it's not enough in life to succeed. One's friends must fail. Uh, and there's something uh, to that, perhaps, oh, in the show great, business great, industry. Terrible. Yeah, that's, that's Gee, I'm sorry I shocked you with that. Let's I, not have him over. <laughs> 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 but uh, how can you, uh, can, can you talk about differences in the way you work? Um, is there something that would never yeah, happen in a De Palma film, God, for example? I've absolutely. Never, I've never seen you. Uh, really? I want to hear you. <laughs> you come on, he's, been, he's been on my set. He's been sitting there sometimes with directing scenes and he'd be watching it. But I never, saw, I never came around your sets. No. No. <laughs> you said absolutely. What, what is different about the way you make a film, Brian? From a well, see, Marty, I think Marty gets these incredible performances from actors, mainly because he spends a lot of time in developing kind of very deep, character relationships. Mm -hmm. My movies tend to be so much function on a kind of uh, uh, kind of stylization and a kind of cinematic storytelling. They don't depend on the character scenes as much as Marty's movies do. And I wish my movies yeah. were more like Marty, and maybe in some cases Marty wishes his movies were more like mine. Yeah. We have very different attitudes of, uh, when we attack material. Actors are more important to him than to you in some way. Well, yeah. I need actors even though uh, a lot a lot more than Marty in some cases because I have so, so little character scenes that when I get in, I got to get the get best performance in. imaginable mm -hmm. because they're only on the He's screen got, yeah, that too much. much. Yeah, someone pointed out, again, it may have been Pauline Kael, that in The Fury, John Cassavetes is such a wonderful actor. He said it's too bad there wasn't a scriptwriter around to give him more to do yes. because he, he, yes. he's able to convey so much more than there was in the dialogue. That, it's almost a waste, in a way, of a really good actor. I mean, he really puts his actors through everything. I mean, th I mean, yeah. when he does variations on a theme, they're unbelievable. Boy. You can't imagine I where the scene uh, is going to go next, and he does them all. 